James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 29th, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. NASA. Yesterday, a magnificent eruption near the sun's northwestern limb hurled a cloud of energetic protons towards Earth. They are hitting our planet today, causing an S1-class solar radiation storm. The main effect of the storm is a polar caption absorption event. The red zones in this global map show where the shortwave transmissions are being absorbed. Frequencies below 15 MHz are almost completely blacked out, while anything below 35 MHz is being alternated to a great extent. What is causing this? Well, it's all these protons. Earth's magnetic field funnels the particles towards the poles where their ionization effect causes absorption of all shortwave radios. The PCA or polar cap absorption event is intensifying. Although it goes measured this as an M4.5 solar flare. If this was Earth-facing, it would have measured a lot stronger, and it would have been a very dangerous event for Earth. This is the second time in two weeks we've had a major polar absorption event. Ladies and gentlemen, neither one of the flares that caused these events were Earth-facing. Remember, this is radiation hitting our planet in tremendous amounts. And obviously, you all know that radiation is not good for any living biological tissue, period. With that said, again, twice in two weeks, not directly Earth-facing events, but we are seeing how large these events really are. Sooner than later, we'll have a directly earth-facing event that is this strong and it will look like something you've never seen before. With that said, please share, please subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World and God bless you.